All right, so earlier this week, I talked to you guys a little bit about water and my recommendation on having the ability to filter water versus just trying to store water. I uh, wanted to make a few additional comments on that topic. So number one, this does not mean that I don't like the idea of storing water. It just means that storing water is a very short term solution, right? So uh, if you live in a place where you frequently have power outages, uh, things like earthquakes or hurricanes. If you're in the south here in Florida where I live, hurricanes is the big one. Um, also, really, really bad tornadoes may have this effect, right? If you know big storms are coming, uh, having those liners that go into your bathtubs and being able to fill up a bathtub before something like this happens, uh, maybe having a couple 55 gallon drums attached outside that you catch uh, water catchment off of your roof and uh, so you have some water there, right? All of this is nice because you can generally quickly go get it and use it and it's a lot easier than walking, you know, a quarter or a half a mile um, to a little stream or a creek or whatever it is you may have to go to, uh, dipping some, 50, some five gallon buckets in and then carrying them back or using a wagon or whatever to run through your filter, right? So if you're not, if you don't have immediate access to some kind of water supply, having some water on hand, some water storage on hand is useful. Just realize you're gonna go through it really, really quickly. So I, I don't wanna say don't have any water storage, that's just not your long-term solution. Your longer-term solution is your water filters. So now let's talk about water filters real quick. Uh, a couple of hard lessons that I learned that I'm very glad I learned when um, you know, things are good is if you use like a backpack water filter, right? Uh, the, this goes for the paper ones or the ceramic ones. It applies in both these situations. This is absolutely critical. If you use these, Okay? It could be, you know, hey, I'm going on a hike and I'm just gonna test out my gear and make sure I know how it works. And here's a little stream or a river and I'm gonna pump some water into my canteen and drink it, blah, blah, blah. You could be using it that way. Sorry, got traffic I'm dealing with here. The other thing, uh, you know, or it could be a hurricane or something like that happened. You grab your pack, you start filtering water, you go your three days, five days, whatever, they get the power back on. Yay, we made it, we had fresh water the whole time. Either of those situations, when it's done, if you're not using this filter continuously, right, like every day or a couple of times a day, then you need to open that filter system up, take that filter out, do a basic clean on it, and then let it dry before you put it back together. If you do not do that, the next time you go to use it, you will be pumping nasty algae and mold right into your water. So if you leave that nasty water that you just filtered in that system for a couple weeks or a couple months, probably a couple days in reality, uh, but I've never used it a couple days after. When I'm using it on like hiking trips and stuff like that, I'm using it every day. We go on hunting trips, I'm using it every day. And then I come home, and when I come home, I open everything up, I wash it in the sink and then I set it out on the counter till it completely dries and then I put it all back together and then put it back in my pack, okay? Because I've had that happen. I've gone out, thankfully I had a spare filter in my pack and I, was, I went, ah oh, crap, ruined that whole filter. I had to basically throw it away, pulled out my new filter, put it together, it was still okay, but that filter still had tons of life in it. I'd only used it for maybe 10, 20 gallons worth and they go a couple hundred gallons, right? So totally wasted a filter doing that and, um, and had to start get a whole new filter, right? So it wasn't catastrophic on that particular trip, but it was something that could have been catastrophic had I only had that filter and was relying on it and needed you know, five days worth of water and had none, right? So make sure if you have these filter systems, that you, number one, you test them, make sure you know how to use them, right? You may use it and go, this sucks, I want a better one, right? I do. I would recommend that you do not scrimp on these filter systems. Get the good ones. The paper filter ones are gonna run you 100 or so dollars, 100 to 120-ish, and uh, I haven't looked at them in a while, but that's what they were last time I looked. The ceramic ones are like two to 250, okay? The ceramic ones are really, really nice. They filter a lot more water, so, price per gallon of water filtered is probably a lot lower on those than the paper ones. Um, but they are a little bit more fragile, 
and they are heavier. So if you're trying to carry them on your back, they are heavier and they are more susceptible to freezing. So if the water, if you're in freezing temperatures, um, you have to keep it from freezing because water expands when it freezes. If there's water in your element and it freezes, it will crack your element and then basically it's useless at that point. Uh, so the paper are superior if you're in a freezing environment, um, at least if you have to use it in a freezing environment, right? Um, usually if you have a vehicle or something like that, you have a little bit more ability to keep your filter from freezing. Uh, you don't have to keep it much above freezing, but you definitely wanna make sure it doesn't freeze, right? So have, think that through whether you have a pocket, whether you have something that you carry inside your jacket and you keep your filter inside your jacket so it generally stays above freezing. Uh, lots of different ways to make that happen, but it is definitely a concern. So don't keep your filters wet. Don't let your ceramic elements freeze and make sure that you dry your paper elements, uh, especially your paper elements in between usages um, if you're not gonna be using them every day because you don't wanna drink nasty stuff. All right, so hopefully that's been helpful for you. See you next time.